Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the Cyber Engine Night Morpher KMO2 Annihilator from Mastermind Creations. This was a Christmas present I got, and it's a really nice piece just to look at here. This is based off the, uh, I believe, the Hearts of Steel Transformers comic, which is uh, a what if the uh, Transformers. I guess we're awakened in 1884 instead of 1984. So a lot of them were based off of uh, 19th century machinery. I know Cyclops or um, Shockwave is a giant ironclad boat. And Prime is a locomotive. And then this, of course, is the Nemesis Prime repaint of that. Now these are all independent wheels that all turn down here. The detailing is really nice. It's a minimum paint job, but really, I don't think they could have done any more and had it look any better. And some clear plastic in there for the lighting. It's very nice. Now to uh, transform him here. He actually, the first thing you're going to do is split him in two. There we go. You've got essentially the trailer and the cab for Prime. Um, but we'll go ahead and get him into robot mode and then look at the trailer. So we need to remove this. This actually will become his gun. There you go. Alright, so far as for him himself. I usually just start kind of separating the cow catcher here. Let me come down here and fold down the legs. Split them and then they pull out like so until they lock into place. And down here we've got, I guess these are supposed to be the bumper for a train here. Those fold up. And these doors kind of have they don't really open that much, but they're really just there to do that. Open the door, flip that down. There you go. And it's kind of interesting, on the inside of the legs, they actually painted these gears in. Which, I'm not really sure why, because they're on the inside, but it's nice that they did. So that gives us a stance right there. Oh. That's the only downside about this transformer here is that these are not ball joints. There's like a clear plastic hinge that catches this little bar and that's all that holds the foot on. And they are just easy to uh, pop off. Alright, so we got that up. So then back here, we're just going to take... Sorry, let me adjust that. We're just going to take the body and split it open. And then the arms, we just start to fold them out. The arms are kind of odd because there's a little catch right there. And then there's a couple that catch like right here. They come up here, so it's like double... And double pegged kind of and it's kind of found a really easy way to just get it loose but pull down the arms now here you fold open the chest to reveal the head which has a fair amount of light piping and then of course you have a little matrix which is removable which I thought was Pretty nice little detail to actually put that in there. Although I guess with uh, Nemesis here, this would be a dark matrix. Then that folds up. And then... There you go. And he is in robot mode with his gun.
Very cool. Now, the trailer. It's pretty impressive. It contains pretty much all of his weaponry. You can see all the painted detail on here. And then it also has a hitch at the back, so I guess you could connect it to other trains. I don't know if uh, Ratchet was like a passenger car or something, and maybe they'll all connect at some point. But, I don't know, but essentially you split it down the middle. On the front here, this piece comes off, and it forms a shield that he can carry. And then this folds down, and then this whole back part comes up as a cannon. And then his sword is contained down in here. Sword is very nice. I like the detailing in the design. So what you can do here is... Remove the gun. sword and then the shield there's a peg hole right there and a peg on the shield you can get that plugged in and give him like a cool pose there side. And you can see even on the inside there's quite a bit of molded detail. And then as a last trick the whole cannon barrel comes off and actually forms a weapon and a jetpack. So what you do is you pull this apart, pull this off, take this, Push that down, that pulls off. Now what you do is you take this part and this part and you plug it together. And then a tip comes out and you have a lance. And then these two come back here on the back here. So what you do is you flip this part up, and then you see you have these indentions here. And if you look at these, you have right there. So what you do is you put them on like this. So they go on just like that. And that folds down on top. There's actual little pegs these should fit into if you get everything on correctly. Unfortunately, because of the weird peg design, they're kind of hard to get lined up right at first, but there you go. Oops. There. So. <clears throat> you can see, it's fairly flexible and poseable. The arms twist. He's got a bicep swivel and a hinge underneath there. Uh, looks like just a hinge for the elbow. Not really any hand articulation to speak of. Torso does twist. Um, he's got the cow catcher armor here, but he's got pretty good range of motion here at the knee and everything. And maybe a little bit of articulation with the ankles, although with those uh, joints, I wouldn't really push it that far. And of course, head is on a ball joint. And of course, he has his lance, so you could trade his sword out. Put a lance on there. Which looks kind of silly. But his hand does come off. 
Jason. I wonder if you could. Nope. Not a long enough peg. I thought that would have been cool if you could just do something like that, but the peg's just not there. I'll get his hand back on there. There you go. A pretty nice piece. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like is this cow catcher thing because it's loose. It looks flimsy, and I'm just waiting for it to break. Other than that, he's really nice, and I would recommend him. Uh, definitely pick him up if you have the option. Now, as a display, he also comes with a set of tracks you can put down and then sit him on there, kind of like how we start out the review. And then he came with a few other pieces. I did not quite know what they were, were for because they're not mentioned in the directions. But he comes with a head with a visor for... I guess the original version of this if you wanted a slightly different hip mold. And then he came with these two things. Which I wasn't sure what they were for. But from what I gather they are uh, weapon holders. Like one for the sword and the gun. And you could store them I guess on ro in robot mode. Now according to the directions he should have come with uh, two sets of hands and I only have one set of hands and I don't see another one I couldn't I didn't see any in the box so I don't know what was up with that but otherwise a very nice piece very nice set and I'd recommend them and as always thank you for watching uh, like us subscribe comment you know we're always trying new things seeing uh, what works what doesn't so we love hearing from you so Again, thank you for watching and take care.